Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install our die cut checkerboard decal kits on these side skirts that are specifically found on the Vespa GTS, the GT200. We've had these for several years, come in two different sizes. If you do the ST47, we got five different color variations, including uh, reflective variations, white, silver, black. And if you go to the part number ST46, is a much smaller checkerboard. And this works good on the LXs that have the skinnier uh, side skirts. The cool thing about this, it's all up to your own imagination what you do with it. Uh, you could do something like put it down the front leg shield. As you can see here, put it down the leg shield. You could go down the back as a racing stripe, go across your glove box, whatever. You can go up your cowl, um, whatever you want to do with it. Today I'm going to show how to apply it on this side skirt. And there's some challenges to making it apply over a surface like this. This may look like a rectangular strip, but it's actually a compound curve. It's kind of more like a sphere. So you kind of have to set up uh, for success to get these to apply correctly. So let's jump right into it. Let me show you how it's done. So before you apply any sort of sticker or decal to a your scooter's paint job or even the plastic finish, anything like that, even if you're doing like a Vespa decal, it's only, always highly recommended that, that you clean the paint finish. Uh, there's usually residues, uh, whether you wax the scooter or just you know other residue that causes uh, problems with adhesion with the decals and also these die cut vinyl stickers. Uh, recommend having a clean towel uh, don't use something as heavy as like acetone. So, so something like rubbing alcohol, like a high percentage, like a 70 or 80 percent would be suitable for uh, degreasing the paint finish without adding to it. Uh, in this ugly looking can, I do have a specific uh, paint cleaner that's used for uh, cleaning paint finishes. And it's just a, a high flash solvent essentially that's safe for the paint not something like acetone that might dissolve your paint. Just want to give it a quick wipe. And that's all it takes. And make sure the rag comes back clean. This is a brand new bike, so it's not going to have too much residue of any sort on it. Once it's clean, let's move on to mocking up the decals and uh, get set up for installation. Since these side skirts are like more like a compound curve, it's like pretty much putting a straight sticker on like a big sp a sphere. Uh, you can see it's not going to be very straight. It is possible to make small adjustments, you know, up and down, but that's pretty much how it's going to lay out when it flattens out onto, um, onto this uh, curve. So again, either with a tape or a grease pencil, you can kind of, you know, set up a couple, uh, pieces of tape so you have a good template of how you're going to lay this out, where it starts. You know, about right there. And then when it comes towards the back again, it's going to be very close to the, the edge again. And another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pop out these R plugs that are already installed on the scooter. And we'll see how they lay out because it may be in a spot where it covers up the hole or if not, we could put the R plug back in place. And of course, if you have reflectors, you're going to need to remove the reflectors. You could certainly put the reflectors back in these holes. Uh, only found on the, the US bikes that have these extra reflectors on them. So we'll go ahead and start pulling back the backing of the die cut vinyl checkers here. And I find the best way is just kind of roll the backing, you know, have a sharp curve. So it kind of, um, see, sometimes it will want to pull the sticker away. If that's the case. You can use your nail, kind of, uh, push the, the die cut vinyl back onto the, um, this backing here. So, and we're just going to get a couple inches of this set up, you know, pulled back, ready to install. And as we go along, we'll keep on, uh, rolling it back. And of course, 
I'm no pro at putting die cut vinyl on. There's uh, plenty of other videos up on YouTube that show how to apply vinyl with even more success. You know, sometimes people use water to go around uh, compound curves. Uh, there's heat, there's different, different methods to get this stuff to, to conform to what you wanted, want it to do when you install it. But the important thing is I want to stay with my, um, my guides I set up. So I'll start with this right here, just corner. I'm not even, I'm just actually uh, hearing the backing right now. And then pretty much I want to be right there. And at this point, I get, get the flatten out and we'll start just carefully tapping these, uh, these decals in place. So, and of course, some of the difficult ones are going to be, you know, when they're going down this curve here, that's going to add to the difficulty of the installation here. So get these ones, which aren't too bad. And try not to put wrinkles in these, uh, these. And I'm pulling back. They're already sticking to the, um, the, the paint. No problem there. Okay. That one went around a curve. No problem. And this one here is going to be a little more difficult. I might come back to that one and work, work on a little bit more a little later, but all these, they look pretty good. They're flattening right out. I'm just using my finger right now. I'll come back with a squeegee to uh, burnish them down, uh, for the final pass. Just double check that you're running on a straight line and just kind of continue to roll the release off. Now I'm just kind of starting to burnish them down a little bit here. And we're going to start going around a curve. So it's going to get a little, little, little trickier. And probably the trickiest sticker right here that that's likely to want to end up with a little fold in it is going to be this one. So just be careful. I'm kind of just for right now, I'm just adhering it to the flat. And at this point, each of these individual decals, I'm going to burnish them down with a squeegee tool such as this to burnish them. And this one, I can see the bubble kind of forming. You can kind of see it through the backing. You work the bubbles out. You know, you want to work, if there's a bubble in the sticker, you want to work it out towards the edge. You know, it's an air pocket that's trapped under the stickers. You know, each one of these individual die cut vinyls. And at this point, we could start pulling the backing away once you have it fully burnished down. Just look at them, make sure there's no bubbles in any of them. If there's any little bubbles, you could just work the bubbles out of each of the individual die cut vinyl. So something like this one, this is gonna be one of our, our more difficult ones. And we'll just do it with our fingernail, walk it around the, um, the curve there. And you can always use the backing paper to kind of give it the final burnishing. So go ahead and put the reflector plugs in. So this one, unfortunately, it kind of overlaps. It, I'll tell you one thing, it's a really difficult to control the locations. You may want to have these labels, you know, work it out where they, they can cover up those holes, but the likelihood of doing that is just, you may need a couple sets of stickers to, to try or really work on the mock-up before you, um, install these stickers here. So 
Eh, it's not too bad, so put that. And if you really wanted to uh, get into it, you probably take some black paint, uh, divide that up. And if you have an extra decal, for instance, I'm gonna just try to cover up this half this reflector plug that I put in. Uh, this is why it's always nice to have extra extra decal material. And you know, it doesn't work the best at going over um, compound surface, like something like this little R plug that's got a dome to it. But you can just carefully work it all the way around. You know, I'm using my nails as my burnishing tool here. And, you know, it's definitely a lot more passable. You know, of course, the perfect solution would be to get brand new side skirts or paint them where you fill these holes, but uh, we're left with these holes on this custom build here. And you want to use a really sharp exacto blade, then you could carefully trace around the reflector plug, you know, to cut the material out and then pull back the, um, the material we don't need. And so I got that pulled away and look at that. Looks passable to me, so. So get rid of our uh, masking tape. Hopefully you have on the other side, you wanna try to make this as symmetrical as you can. So when you move to the other side, and I'll tell you one thing about these reflector plugs, those are hand drilled. So you're gonna find they're not symmetrical be between the left and the right side. So just uh, keep that in mind when you're doing this more how it looks uh, when you kind of just look at the overall checker pattern. So there you have it. A little bit of work, uh, you can add some custom touches to your scooter with just a simple die cut vinyl decal. Thanks for watching, hope you found that uh, useful. Of course, you can find these items on our website, scooterwest.com, ST46 for the small checkers, ST47 for the large one. Uh, we have a lot of other die cut vinyl products and stickers available too. Just search stickers on Scooter West and you'll see all the fun stuff we got. Until next time, Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. And one more thing, uh, check out the next video coming. It will be about this scooter. Uh, this is Michael's uh, build that we did for him. We haven't done a mod build in a while, a mod on a modern bike. We've done some mod bikes on the vintage stuff, but it's been a couple of years since we've done something fun. So check that out coming up soon. Thanks again.